Okay, you guys are ready for the fun? If you're not, get ready. So, I'm opening up this bag of chocolate chips. Um, I need, this is not the right cup. I needed um, a half a cup of chocolate and I'll have these ones right here. Oh, you can't see them. These. I have these. And I need a half a cup of these. And then I have to melt it down over a water bath. So, I have my. I'm gonna use the same bowl. Throw them up, just throw them in the bag. I'm gonna take these over to the stove. So I have my cream cheese here. I have to mix it up. So I have to beat this until it's nice and smooth. So I'm gonna start with uh, my mix on low. I have a hand mix. recipe I have to have um, a third a cup of sugar instead of sugar I am using maple syrup so that's what I have here and I have a third a cup of it so I'm gonna put my syrup in here coming out nice and slow because it was cold. That should be good. So I have that. And I also need to add in cocoa powder and I need a tablespoon of cocoa powder. This is the cocoa powder I'm using, but this is cacao, not cocoa. <laughs> cacao. Cacao. It's very easy to get more than that. So, tablespoon cocoa powder. I also need a tablespoon of cornstarch. I'm going to throw that one back in. I have a half a tablespoon measure right here. I'll just use this twice. I got some powder right here. One, two, two of those, and then let me see cornstarch and vanilla, and I need a half a tablespoon, a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I don't know if I have a half a te teaspoon measure. I have a fourth, so I can do that. So 
there's one. Two. Plus a few extra drops. Never hurt nobody. Not that I know of. Did this go down? actually I can actually take this off now cuz that's it it is melted down so got that about to take it back over here to my little spot so I have my mix here I'm gonna add in this chocolate So I have that in here. And my six tablespoons of coconut cream. I got my pan back out of the freezer and this is how it's looking I'm going to pour my cheesecake batter inside of here it says that I need to put a half what is that 1.5 inches of hot water into a baking pan my baking pan was broken so I have this one a pie pan and that water that I used for that will come in handy right or wrong see look perfect and I have to put the cheesecake filling into here into here so I'm gonna get the little filling and put it in here So I have my cheesecake and I have my water pan right here. I'm gonna put this inside. Ooh, y'all saw that? I got too much water, huh? Too much water. It's floating. Okay, so I have to go put this in the oven and bake it for an hour. 
Then I have to turn off the oven and let it sit for 30 to 60 minutes with the oven door cracked. And then it'll be cooling down in between that time. So I'm gonna go put this in the oven, set it for like an hour, check it. Um, I mean, turn off the oven for 30 to 60 minutes. And it should be cool by then. And then let me see, it says to remove it from the water bath and put it on a wire rack. I don't have one of those. So um, when we come back, you're gonna see what else I rig. All right, so back. guys, I have a little less than an hour left. I'm gonna go do some other stuff, kill some time, might edit part of this video, see what parts look too crazy and trash them. But yeah, so I got an hour to kill already. I have my last ingredients out and ready and good to go for preparation and yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys in an hour, an hour. I am here at the oven. It is done. I can cut it off now. And let me turn the oven light on. Now it tells me to leave it in here for 30 to 60 minutes. That looks beautiful. Oh man. I'm gonna pull this out. It says to leave it in here for 30 to 60 minutes with um the door cracked open. Look at this. It's barely jiggling. Barely jiggling. I have a feeling it's gonna be great. All right, but anyways, so I have to leave this cracked. Let me see how cracked I can get it. I guess like this is cool. As long as it doesn't move, we're good. So I'm gonna leave it, come back 30 to 60 minutes. I'm gonna edit this video um, and finish eating. And by the time I do all that, I'm gonna put the timer back on. Let's go for 40 minutes. So I did 40 minutes. Ow. Ooh. And I'll be back and check this out and take it out and you know, all that great so stuff. So it is done. I'm just going around with a knife. It's nice and firm. Already nice and firm. So it should be really good to go. It looks wonderful.